Hello, everyone. How are you today? I am Maya Abrams with the Culture Cauldron, and we are in a very special space with a very special um, edition of our content in the Hilltop House at the Stone Quarry Hill Art Park. And I am here with the lovely, fantastic, intelligent woman that runs this house, Sarah. How are you today? I'm doing great. Having you all here and having Lauren's music activate the space is I think what our founder, Dorothy Reister, would have just delighted in to see so many people be inspired and create something within her own house is just, uh, I'm just like, I'm so jazzed about it. Now, Dorothy was a very special woman, of course. Um, we're actually sitting basically in her work, which is very fantastic and crazy. I get to say that. But so this is a house that she built correct and really sculpted into her home, but also a living, breathing piece of art, along with all of the work around us um, that she collected and created over time. Correct? Correct. Dorothy was a multifaceted artist who her entire life, which she lived to 100 years, she pushed boundaries constantly, both personally and within the fields that she worked in. So this house, we look at it as one of her freestanding sculptures that is as multifaceted as she was. She designed it. She built into it. She sculpted literally into the walls and the right. fireplace and then filled it and curated it with a collection of furniture that she purchased, that she designed, that she made, and just artwork of hers and contemporaries and it's a really special, special space that is just filled with energy and right. art and life. Um, now, when people come to the house and visit, what type of mediums of art can they typically find as they walk around the house? Oh, like everything. <laughs> I mean, it is there is everything from painting to sculpture that's in glass and metal, ceramic, wax figures. There's books. There's film, video. There's a bit of everything. And I even the wall is, one of the walls is a complete sculptural work that she embedded things into. So you can expect to see a little bit of everything when people come and tour the home. And then another thing that people may want to know is that not just is the Hilltop House, actually the Hilltop House, but then it's surrounded by an art park with sculptures literally all across the grounds. And then one, how big are the grounds actually in number and acres? And then what type of like sculptures can you typically see as you walk around the park and just take in the space? Yeah, so we are surrounded by 104 acres of landscape that Dorothy and her husband Bob purchased over time. And 30 years ago this year, they created Stone Quarry Hill Art Park and opened the grounds to the public to enjoy sculptures by Dorothy, as well as contemporary artists from across the country and from all over the world. So they can encounter everything from freestanding sculptures that stand against the landscape, as well as ones that incorporate within it. And then we're surrounded by amazing views. You can see Oneida Lake from the hilltop here, look into Casanova, and just really immerse yourself in nature and art and kind of see the dynamic overlap between the two. I think one thing that I just like paid attention to is like there's literally almost an acre for like almost every year of life that she had. Mm -hmm. And I just think there's something really powerful in that because she very much is like living and breathing in the space. And it's so amazing to feel someone's energy still so present, even though they're no longer with us. And then another thing that you guys are doing is actually having the time to like research her, research her work. There's even like a plant area in this home. So I guess like if you guys, if you could ho highlight some of the research you guys are doing without giving too much, of course, and just like how it is to really get to keep uncovering what she's doing and her impact and her legacy like over time and into the future. Sure. So when Dorothy passed away in 2017, we were gifted the entire estate, um, including all of her records. So that's that's everything from books, music, all the things you see in the library, photographs, home movies, documents and sculptural maquettes, which are like little tests of her sculptures. So we've been working with the SU Museum Studies program to go through this collection on an item by item basis. And we are discovering so much more about this really dynamic woman and the life that she lived fully in art that we are just, we're finding all these connections, even more work that she did. And we learn about her as a person through all of this. And it forms a really full idea of who Dorothy was, why she did the work that she did, and the impact, the true impact as an artist, a conservationist, an author, as well as an educator. She taught at SU, she yeah. taught at Cass College. You know, the impact that she had was so far reaching and we're really learning how far reaching it truly was. 
And then a final question for you, because um, for those that don't know, you're also an artist and this is just a great place for like inspiration and just to just exist in. Mm -hmm. What has been a highlight for you, like working in the space and getting to take care of this home and over these last few years? I get to immerse myself in a place that another woman immersed her life in art. I can see how and understand why she chose this space up here to be her creative center. You only have to just like walk outside and just take in everything. I mean, as the day changes, the light changes, the mood changes, the seasons, and you can't not be inspired by walking around here, by being in her home, by seeing what she created for herself and for the community and how connected that was to the environment outside. And it's just, it's constantly inspiring. And for me, I see it in every day. It's like, I come up and I can't help but like post on Instagram and like office views today. It's like, really, yeah, yeah, it's like these stunning views and landscapes and artwork. And it's, you can't help but just be just like, so taken in by what she created that you want to create yourself. So yeah, it's, it's a fantastic place. Well, thank you so, so much for having us and letting us create in this amazing space and also having Lauren as well. And I hope everyone does come to the Hilltop House. It is it's you just have to come and see it because like I've never seen anything like this before. And I just feel very blessed to like have this as part of my life. So we're closed for tours for the season, but okay. we'll open back up uh, next May. And okay. if people are interested, they can contact us. But the grounds of the art park are open year round. Dawn to dusk. If you love hiking around the trails, come out, bring your dog, put them on a leash. <laughs> but it's definitely a place. Please come out and visit. If people are interested to contact us and just know that this resource is a really special one here in CNY. Well, everyone come on down in May and enjoy the art park. But thank you so much. Thank, and thank you, you for having us. This was great. This was an amazing day and Dorothy would be just so super excited that it was happening. So thank you guys. Thank you.